it's a difficult time to take over when the team are doing well, they're top of the table, the expectations are high. So when he took over, the last thing he wants to do is upset the cohesion. You know, he doesn't want to start coming in and making lots of changes, trying to give the players lots of information and suddenly they get on the pitch looking a little bit confused. You want to try and keep it as simple as possible, try and keep what they've been doing to to a certain extent. But I think in all three games, he's changed things tactically slightly. You know, particularly against Sparta Prague, he played with two holding midfield players. Glenn Kamara played 10 yards deeper normally than what he does. And I think that was all based on watching them against Hibs in the Premier Sports Cup semi-final. When they get overrun in midfield, he get caught in the counter-attack and the centre-halves were exposed. So he thought, rather than playing one holding midfield, playing two ahead of it, I'm going to play two deeper. And I just feel as if Glenn Kamara's actually got better playing in that role. Against Livingston, he changed and he put Scott Arfield in, he said after the game, because there's gaps in behind. There's gaps in the Livingston back four that Scott Arfield could exploit. And I thought, well, that's good. And then the other night, the full-backs played yeah. a little bit deeper. Yeah, that was, the, that was the biggest thing I saw from the game the other night. And James Tavernier and Boren Barris, it's hardly crossed the halfway line. Mm-hmm. Now, we're used to seeing them in the final third putting balls into the box with the opposite one maybe being at the back post. They hardly got in the, in the final third on Wednesday night. So they were obviously, they've spoke about it. He wants to be a bit more sure defensively. Um, he knows he's got ability up front. He knows he's got players who can he can hurt teams and score goals. I think he's just maybe looking to shoot up that defence because probably what he saw at Hamden when he watched against Hibs, that probably gave him a little fright. You know, how poor they were defensively, three, three down after 40 minutes. And he's probably thought, right, that's the first thing I need to address get the defence tightened up because we know if we can keep clean sheets we've got players at the other end of the pitch who can win us games and that's what happened the other night Ryan Kent fantastic never really got into the game but there was a few occasions in the second half where he got the ball and he drove at the Hibs defence and got crosses in the box and then on the third occasion he, he cut inside and a little bit of skill and he was too quick for Ryan Portis and, and obviously the penalty came about so you know that's what Rangers need to concentrate on getting the ball to the flair players let them do their job be solid defensively and you know I think they'll be they'll be decent going forward now it's a big decision that though isn't it to 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 say to your full backs right you're, you're staying back we're looking for more insurance well, defensively not because... really because the evidence was against Hibs yeah you know they won't do every game I think you know certain games will say well listen they don't have the same threat up front they don't have the same pace yeah. they're not going to try and play the same right, way right so a game by game thing well, well that's what yeah. I'm saying so I think he's changed his tactics mm. every game which means he's not just saying this is how we're playing we're not budging we're not moving this is what we're doing you know, that's very one-dimensional, I think, at times, particularly when he's a new manager coming in and still trying to get to know the players. So he's probably basing a lot of it on what happened against Hibs at, at uh, Hamden Park. Totally, yeah. So that's why the other night, said, well, we can't go to Easter Road and we can't have Borna Barisic and James Tavernier overlapping and underlapping and suddenly one ball down the side exposes mm-hmm. Calvin Bass against Martin Boyle or exposes uh, Kevin Nisbet against Conor Golson. One slip, one moment of brilliance, we could be a goal down and it's hard to come back from. So basically what he said is, we'll go there, we'll be compact, we'll be hard to play against, exactly what Neil said, when it's on to go forward, be selective. If you think there's a good chance to overlap, go and do it. But James Tavernier, if you go Borna Barisic, you're staying, you're staying as a third centre-half. If Borna Barisic goes, you're coming in staying as a third centre-half, James Tavernier. So just little tactical things. And I would imagine the players are thinking, all right, OK, this is slightly different. So it's it's, it's always fresh mm-hmm. and keeps players on their toes. And he he's changed the team, he's changed formation, he's changed his tactics. And I think that so far it's worked. It'll be interesting to see when they've got Pretoria away. Uh, this month they've still got to go to Celtic Park in early January and they've got to go to Hearts in a couple of weeks time so it'll be interesting to see what kind of tactic, uh, tactical plan he puts up there because it's, it's totally been such a big part of Rangers success yeah, I, hasn't I totally it? agree the, with what Stephen said the, the, you know, the assists that have come from both Tavernier yeah. and Barisic and I think you'll find Rangers versus Dundee tomorrow at Ibrox I would imagine maybe Dundee will sit in a bit more and Rangers will have a lot of the ball so you might find tomorrow Steam said it'll change a little bit and you might find James Tavernier and Boran Barisic getting forward a bit more and, and getting into them sort of forward more areas and putting cross, crosses into the box. But it, it, it probably will be a game-to-game thing and I, I would have thought they maybe got a fright, as I said, in the semi-final, Martin Boyle and Kevin Nisbet tore Rangers' defence apart and I think they might have been scared of that. So he's yep. probably saying, I want my full-backs to sit in, let's be a, a tight, compact four and let's not give them anything. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.